All right. I am here with Nuvi today, who's about 30 year old, uh, California Mojave Desert tortoise. Who are you? I'm Dr. Karen Schachterly. Um, I'm one of the doctors here at Access, and I've gotten to see Nuvi a lot recently um, because he's been having some nasal discharge. Um, he is getting better. I don't see any nasal discharge right now. His nostrils look clear. Um, but nasal discharge is a really common problem we see in the Mojave Desert tortoises, and that's actually part of why they became a threatened species in California. Really? Because the um, bacterial infection mycoplasma um, was transferred from tortoises that were kept as pets. When they were released back out into the wild, they took that disease back with them to the wild population. Really? And that is how part of how these tortoises became a threatened species. Oh. And that's because it is a really infectious uh, bacteria. Um, it's a problem we see in our pet tortoises as well. Right. Um, and so they can have nasal discharge and it can cause them to be lethargic and not want to eat when their nose is stuffy, just like us, because they can't smell their food. Right. Um, and it can be a problem that recurs. Um, and so and just, that's been the situation here, mm -hmm, right? And that's been Newbie's problem is it's come a couple times. And so in his case, we suspect that he may have mycoplasma. Um, though there are multiple different kinds of bacteria and viruses that can cause these kinds of infections in tortoises. But luckily, Nuvi's been responding really well to his antibiotics and to his nasal flushes. So he is getting better every time. And he is just about well enough that we're going to give him clearance to go ahead and hibernate uh, for the winter. <gasps> Seriously? He's getting close. Oh, really? Because <laughs> we didn't think he was going to be caused. Yeah. Why? Because if we let the, any tortoises hibernate um, when they are sick, um, then that can be actually a life-threatening situation. Because part of what happens when they hibernate during the winter is their body slows down, their body cools down, and their immune system isn't as strong during that time. Wow. And so if they're healthy when they hibernate, that's not a problem. But if they are sick or unhealthy when they go into hibernation, then their immune system isn't working at 100% to fight off that illness and they can actually wake up in the spring a lot sicker than they were when they went down. Right. And so that's right. why we always recommend that we do a pre-hibernation exam for them. Really? And let make sure that they're healthy before they go to sleep for the winter. And in Nuvi's case, that's why we're working so hard to get his respiratory infection cleared up so that he can have a good sleep while it's cold out and right. wake up healthy in the spring. Okay, and, um, and and I just told you that he came from a guy named Charlie, and he, he Charlie had yes. it for thirty years. And Charlie said That's that amazing. he with two big box turtles, uh -huh. white and blue, and they said he fed them two things: watermelon and romaine lettuce. That is not a very healthy diet for desert <laughs> tortoises. But he looks but good, right? I mean, his they shell. They are amazing. They can come back even when they don't have the best diet. You know, they can still. Um, managed to survive for some time. Right, and, and, and just a little note. Okay, so he's 30 years old, and this dude, who's that? Baby Sheldon, Baby Sheldon, who's, you know what, 11 months old, okay? Oh my goodness. How about that? Baby Almost Sheldon, one year old. meet 30 year old <laughs> newbie. Both desert tortoises, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are you gonna show us here? Oh, I wanted to ask, yes. look at, so Claus here, mm -hmm. this guy's an incredible climber. Yeah. Just, what do you think happened there? So. It looks like he had some previous trauma to that foot where the toes got damaged. Um, it's hard to know what happened. It looks like it happened a long time ago, but he definitely has an abnormal foot right there. Right. He doesn't have kind of the normal toes that he does on his other foot. Well, I'll tell you what, it sure doesn't bother him because he's a climber <laughs> like I've never seen. Okay. Um, but cool. part of when we were trying to make sure that Nuvi's healthy and make sure that he didn't have any other underlying health problems besides his respiratory disease and his funny foot here, we took an x-ray of him. Woo! And sometimes we need multiple x-rays to look at everything. But in his case, we were looking specifically to make sure that he didn't have a bladder stone. Because okay. that's another really common problem in desert tortoises. And that can, again, suppress their immune system and cause them to be um, to be sicker uh, without us necessarily knowing why, unless we take that x-ray. So what are we looking at? So we are looking at a view of him top down, kind of like this. Okay. Oh, so that's the top of him? <laughs> yep, that is the oh, top of him, and we're like looking all down. the way through him. Really? So his head's up there, and okay. his butt's back here. 
Yeah. Happily, there are no bladder stones in Nuvi. Uh -huh. um, the one thing we can see, so there are lots of things that we can't see on this x-ray view. We can't right. see his lungs very well. Um, we'd have to take other views to do that. But on Nuvi, since we were just looking for a better bladder stone, we only needed this one view. Okay. Um, he doesn't have a bladder stone, but we can see that he's got some mineral, some grit or little bits of rocks or dirt that he'd eaten. Is that what this mm -hmm. is? That brighter Don't white spot stuff. there in uh -huh. his in his intestines there. Okay. And that's a really common thing to see in a lot of tortoises, uh -huh. um, is they'll have a little bit of dirt or mineral that they've eaten. And what's that white line from there to there? That is actually his it's... backbone. Oh, that's his, yeah. so his spinal cord? Yep, his spinal runs... cord lives in that. Look at that. Attached to his head, of course, to his brain. Yep. Going down. Wowee. And we know he's a boy, right? Yes. He's got yep. the concave and he's yep. yeah. With California desert tortoises, it's very easy to tell males from females once they're adults. Do you think you have any idea where Sheldon is yet? He's too little. He's too little. We're yeah. going to have to wait until he's a little bigger. Is he a bigger. favorite or what? I love baby Sheldon. We all do. We all do. We all do. Okay, so you determined that through this x-ray. That he does not have a bladder stone. Okay. Um, so we don't need to worry so about that with him. Okay, great. So, okay. So, so what it means is, so at some point, sometime down the road soon, we'll bring him in for another check or two, and then you'll... And then he'll the be okay good to hibernate. Oh, wow. Did you hear that, dude? Huh? And you know it'll be good for me? Because he's a troublemaker. You know, <laughs> he is. He's, I told you, he's just, he's a fighter. He wants to fight everybody. We got to keep him isolated, which That's, is important mm -hmm. with uh, his it's respiratory. It's very important, especially right? with his respiratory signs. Okay. All right. We don't want him to get baby Sheldon or anyone else sick. No, they stay away. So here's what I want to say, everybody. So Sharon, Karen and I have been together 10 years. Well, wow. Almost. Well, yeah. Close, Seven? I think eight, probably. Okay, eight very years. Close We're not going to admit. <laughs> okay, she's been with me through the hardest things. Losing Max. Oh, my God. Check that playlist, right? Yeah. Um, and, 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 and wonderful things, and we've lost some for sure, but the most amazing, Dr. Sarah, I feel fortunate. So guess what? All these tortoises that are here today, Baby Sheldon, we got the new dude, uh, we got our favorite, one of our favorites, uh, uh, Bean. Guess what? It costs a lot of money, right? Guess what, too? We're now a nonprofit, Tortoise Land 501c3. Go to patreon.com, patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy, right? <laughs> and help us for a little as one dollar a month to help these guys, right Karen? Absolutely. So okay, Nui, you hear that dude? Let's uh, get you home, right? Thanks, Dr. Karen Chapter Lee. Absolutely. All right, let's go home. Boom. Ha, ha, ha.